Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. Hey, I wanted to give you a quick video on this guy. This is a pressure relief valve that is normally right here. Now this is right above the oil filter. This is Fastenough's oil pan. I've got the windage tray off. And this is for active fuel management, displacement on demand. Well, you might be wondering, well, why we don't have active fuel management or displacement on demand? That's true. Uh, GM decided they were going to use one pan for, uh, for all the applications, and they weren't concerned at where this was relieving that it would damage the engine, so they just made one part number, one pan. If you're looking for more oil pressure in the system, if you put a higher pressure oil pump on the car or you change out the relief spring on the oil pump, you may find the pressure doesn't really change much. Um, that's because this is still in there. Um, this can be removed and it can be replaced with this plug. I believe I got this from JEGS. It's specifically made for this purpose. Um, comes with the washer. I'm going to be putting some red Loctite. And of course, I degreased the hole and I'm going to, I'm going to be uh, torquing it down. Um, there was a couple guys on a forum I was reading arguing and one guy said that the LSA doesn't have this. Well, I can assure you mine does for the 2014 year and yours probably does too, along with uh, several other LS variants. And uh, in case you were wondering what this is, uh, this is an oil level an oil temperature sensor um, that's normally covered with the windage tray I have off to clean the pan. So, hey, well, this is just a short shift video for you guys. I hope you have a great day, and we got more videos uh, coming out, some of uh, why this is off and what I'm doing to the car. So uh, stay tuned. Take care. Have a great day.